These three smartphones come with high refresh rates like 90Hz, 120Hz and even smartphones are there with 165Hz which is crazy. And the truth is that we all love displays with high refresh rate but we all don't know that it takes a huge toll on the battery because high refresh rate displays are generally very bright and consume a lot of battery. And that is when a technology called as LTPO came into existence and in this video we are going to take a look at what is LTPO is all about. So without wasting any more further time, let's get started. LTPO is nothing but low temperature polycrystalline oxide which is an OLED back pain technology found by Apple. Yes indeed found by Apple. And before I say what is LTPO, I have to explain you what is refresh rate. So refresh rate is nothing but the number of time the content on the display refreshes per second. Say for example if you have a display with 60 hertz of refresh rate, it means that the content on the display refreshes 60 times per second and that is how it works for different refresh rates whether it's 120 165 or 144 and there is also a small link with fps which is frames per second frames per second is nothing but number of frames played per second so if you're watching a video say for example this video is actually 24 frames per second so each second you will see 24 photographs so that is why you see a moving object right so the higher the refresh rate, the higher the FPS of a video, the better or the smoother the watching experience that you have. So I think now you understand what is refresh rate and what is FPS. Now let's talk about why LTPO was found. So as I said in the beginning, LTPO is a technology which actually controls the refresh rate in order to save or optimize the usage of battery. Because when high refresh rate displays came out, there was a huge problem in the battery department because the high refresh rate displays are generally very bright and also consume a lot of battery due to the refreshing properties of that particular display. The faster the refresh rate, the higher the consumption of battery is and that is why LTPO technology came in. So LTPO 1.0 is the first generation of LTPO technology which actually reduced the refresh rate to as low as 48 hertz. Now this is not always, these are some of the situations where you don't need high refresh rate. So say for example when you're watching a YouTube video that is only 30 frames per second. So that's why this LTPO technology actually reduces the refresh rate from as high as to as low as 48 hertz which is LTPO generation 1.0. But when it comes to LTPO 2.0 it actually reduces the refresh rate to as low as 1 hertz. So these are some of the situations where you don't need high refresh rate and that's when this LTPO technology comes into existence to save the battery. So now let me explain how LTPO technology actually works. So there are two types of transistors on an OLED panel. One is switching TFT and two is driving TFT. Switching TFT is actually responsible for switching on and off of the pixels and driving TFT is responsible in controlling the brightness. And in an LTPO display, these transistors are replaced by one another. When it comes to switching TFT, it is replaced by LTPS transistors, which is actually responsible for the quicker response of the refresh rate from high to low. And the driving TFT is replaced with IGZO, indium gallium zinc oxide, which is very power efficient due to its properties. And the combination of these transistors and a good software makes the LTPO technology work to control the refresh rate from very high as much as your display supports to as low as 1 hertz when you talk about LTPO 2.0 or in case of LTPO 1.0 as low as 48 hertz. So there you have it. This is called as LTPO. Now you all know that what is LTPO and how it works, right? Now you don't need to wonder what is LTPO whenever you see a smartphone review online. So if you end up liking watching my content, a like to this video would be absolutely great. And as always, a like and sub to the channel would make my day and please help me just hit the subscribe button i'll wait for you and also don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever i upload any videos in the future so that's it i am arnav signing off on the video until the next one stay home stay safe take care